Okay, this uh, video is kind of a continuation of the last video I did and I discussed computational video bokeh, which is like video background blur. So I'm in the Movie Pro app right now. We're shooting 4K with a 2.35 crop. So anyways, um, the other app that does this really well, besides shooting an iPhone with portrait mode and then using screen recorder to shoot the portrait mode screen, the only other app that does it better without the icons is this app called Focus. Well, there could be other apps too, I mean, you know. YouTube is a bit of a rabbit hole, right? You could research these things forever. And uh, go on and on and on and on and on about uh, the different various um, apps that can be used, but I'm too lazy to do that. So I just reported the ones that are kind of the most common. And so I'll switch to this focus mode. I'll go into screen recorder and show you what this focus mode app is. I think it's just for iPhone. It could be for Android too. So here's the app. You can go back and forth and then you've got your F stops. What's your blur amount, right? F1.4 being a lot of blur. Uh, 15.6 being less blur. I would say don't go anything below seven if you're just shooting yourself like if you're doing a vlog because if you do it anymore like let's switch it now you have to push that yellow box that's for focus if you hold it you can get like you can get a exposure box too if you play there it is there's the exposure thing you can put the exposure thing up here and the focus there but it's such a pain in the ass i just like Okay, now it's together. You have to keep it on your face because if you put it off to the side there, it focuses back there. You gotta keep it on your face. Don't go any more than seven, otherwise the edges start to get really blurry. And of course, no stabilization. So you can't really walk with it. And then you've got this issue too of uh, the warmth because you're dealing with the Apple front facing camera. But there you get some good bokeh and you see this square portion here you got your here's your like your options you get four three but then you gotta like you could use four three and then you pop that and then you crop out all this stuff and then you've got three two which is then you got these icons down here that you gotta deal with so it sucks and then of course you got 69, well it sucks even more because it's got all that junk back down there. That's getting like the uh, portrait app on the, uh, the stock portrait app on the iPhone. So you don't want that. So 69 is not going to work. Uh, what can work is 2.35 or 2. We'll try 2.35. Like this works, but holy cow. I mean it works, right? I mean it's valid. It's just hold your arm out as far as you can. You get a really cool crop, it's just, it's a statement. One thing is you can pop back and forth, but when you pop back and forth, you should go right to 16. Again, no stabilization. So you got no stabilization if you pop back and forth. And then of course, your focal length, your field of view is like very narrow. And then here's another problem with uh, shooting 2.35 to one. Go back to seven. I mean, it's easy to crop this out in, uh, 
post seven gives you some some good bokeh and uh, it also is a statement as far as the aspect ratio goes but man that is a oh you see it moved see you gotta like frame it and then hold it don't be moving it around see it's fiddly see what's going on here now like it's doing stuff so you can't mess with these things or you got to get to know these apps and then don't like mess with them you know so this isn't exactly meant for vlogging this is i don't know why i keep doing this but i do but you can sort of see like right you can see the potential for this technology right okay i gotta get rid of that okay it just matt the, the the yellow box goes away and so but you can see the tech the, the potential of if they ever like created an app that was just meant for vloggers and incorporated this video blurring or computational video blur i mean you wouldn't need a bunch of different lenses you could have one lens zoom it and use this computational video blur and it would just be awesome see what's best those will go to square Square's the one where, uh, go to square. Square's the one, you know, where you, so we're at seven, and we'll touch this, that goes away. Keep yourself in the middle. Just keep yourself in the, oh my God. Keep yourself in the middle, press the middle like that. Just know that that yellow focus box is in the middle. So if you go over there, you're in trouble, but if you stay in the middle, It'll be okay. And uh, I'm holding the phone at arm's length. It's a little bit of background in there. It's some, we can walk here. It's just gonna be shaky as, you know what. Um, I mean, you could even argue that, shit. What is that, 4.5? That's not 4, it is 4.5. Give it up at seven. Oh, it goes to 4.5, which is a little bit hot or much. See, if I hold it here at seven, what happens is this is probably, I don't know, maybe six would be best ish. That looks kind of normal ish because this video blur isn't so hot, you know, it's kind of. <laughs> Softy, warmy. I can correct the warmth in post. I'll hold it. <laughs> There's a white balance correcting on this thing. But I don't think it's that good, you know? I mean, it's, it's a weird white balance correction. Like, it's just not that good. You'd be better off to like fix that in post. So I'll just let it go to normal and then fix it in post. See, anyways, the f-stop is at six. Maybe 6.5, might be slightly better. It's at 6.4, it's kind of weird, but it's, but you know what? R&D, enough R&D, they would figure out how to make that video blur look like natural optical blur. If they sunk the money into it, they probably don't want to. Canon's too busy making money off lenses. Why would you sink money into a software app that did what a lens does? How do you make money on that? You don't. You make more money by making physical objects like lenses and crappy 10 year old DSLRs. I get it. Respect. It's all about the money. So, anyways, this is one other thing you have to know about this. You're kind of married to the screen recorder on your iPhone, which is 
recording on this phone, the XS, is recording at 1920 by 866. So, basically this is an 866 by 866 image you're dealing with. If you had maybe the XR or the XS Max, the screen might be a different resolution. It might be 1920, or it might be wider, basically. It might be 1920 by 1080 instead of 866. Why this thing's 866 instead of 1080 is unknown. But the phone, the screen resolution of your phone will dictate the resolution of your image. Which is another thing that sucks. So, that sound that you hear, that's the sound of sucking. But, the potential, right? The potential's there. So we'll walk with this, and it's going to jiggle and bounce all over the place. And then we'll switch it to the front to show what we're, oh, see now you gotta change that right to 16, which kind of sucks. But, you know the potential's there, right? Potential is there. And, you know, it's next to your country, right? That's YouTube. See now if we go right to 1.4. Holy moly. Focus car. Oh, another out of focus car almost killed me. Oh. And I could have captured it on uh, my iPhone. Then the cops would have found it and had a good laugh. Look how this fool died. Another vlogger bites the dust. Okay, well. That's enough boring video footage for the day.